What's going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can stop letting fear steal your joy. Now, before I get into the details, and I will give you an exact process for doing so, I wanna let you know that I recently launched my Mental Fitness Training course, and I could not be more excited about getting this to you. So, if there are any of you out there who consume some of these videos, some of this content, and you've thought to yourself, man, I really wanna work with Brandon one-on-one, but maybe you don't quite have the financial resources to do so, the course is perfect for you. It's extremely affordable, and the best part about it is that I take you through a process of getting clear on what you wanna create, and then helping you put the subconscious programs in place and the habits in place to make sure that you can create that ideal outcome for yourself. So. If you've been looking for an opportunity to go deep with me, this is it. The course is now available. It's linked up in the description below. Uh, it comes with eight weeks of modules, so you're gonna go through a subconscious transformation in just 60 days, and it also has a community forum and support group to make sure that you stay motivated and accountable as you go through the process. So now let me get into this video today, how to stop letting fear steal your joy. The first step in this process is going to be identifying the fear and naming it. Now, the most destructive thing that you could be doing is just ruminating on this fear in your own mind over and over and over again. Because you may have learned in other videos, what you focus on is what you get. So if you're gonna be continuing to ruminate on this fear, you're going to be calling that fear in, which is, I know, not what you want. You want more joy. So the first step is to go through the process of exposing it. So write down in a journal or on a piece of paper somewhere, what is this fear? And then journal for, for a couple of sentences on it. Why are you afraid of this? Why is it so charged up? And once you've gone through that first step, you can take step number two, which is going to be identifying the fear and then following the line to find out, okay, is this thing that I say I'm afraid of really the thing that is causing me so much fear, anxiety, stress, worry, or is it attached to a greater fear that I have that is a thing that's really sabotaging me? And so the best way to do this is to ask yourself, okay, what am I afraid of? And if this happens, then what? And if this worst case scenario plays out, then what? And basically what you do is you take this fear all the way to the absolute worst scenario, the worst case scenario, and you actually almost go through this ego death process of like, well, what if it is true, right? And you take deep breaths and you say, yes, this happened. My worst case scenario, my greatest fear is true, okay? Whether that's you're completely alone or you die or whatever the worst case scenario is for you, Allow yourself just to sit with it because the thing about any fear is it only has power over you because the energy associated with it. And the way to take the energy charge out, literally pull the plug out of the wall, take all the energy away from the fear, is by airing it out, taking it all the way to that core issue, that core fear that's making you feel this you know, surface level fear. And then once it's identified, allow yourself just to process what it would be like for this to be true. And it's almost, I guess, it sounds like it'd be contradictory to what you wanna do, but the whole point of the process is most of us are more afraid of the idea of what will happen versus the actual bad thing happening. So going through the process of just saying yes and this happens and the worst case scenario is played out, going through that dissipates the energy, allows you to release it and gain some relief. Now, once you've gained that relief and you can Ah, <sighs> just breathe a little more freely. The next step is anchoring yourself back in the present moment. Now, I have many meditations that can help you with this. You can also just come back to your breath and focus on what it feels like to have your breath come in your nose and back out your mouth and just being with that process because in the present moment, the fear has no space to exist, right? Unless you're being physically attacked by someone in the present moment, the fear does not live in the present. If you're really here and you're really present, the fear has no real estate to take up, right? Fear occurs from future pacing our mind, thinking into the future and imagining some bad worst case scenario uh, playing out. And sometimes we're coming up with this idea of it or the emotions of it, they're actually worse than like we said of the thing actually happening. So. A really powerful thing you can do when you feel like you're getting overwhelmed with fear and you want to experience more of that joy is coming back to the present moment. Because in the present, 
you are free to have peace. Now step four, once you're present, it's about choosing a new focus. So if before you were focusing on what you don't want, which is the fear of something bad happening, right? If we've kind of moved through that, you now have the opportunity from being present to choose a new focus. So I encourage you now to focus on what you do want. Really get clear on it. If you have some worst case scenario fear of, oh, I'm gonna lose my job, and then if I lose my job, I'm gonna lose all my money. If I lose all my money, well, I'm gonna be homeless, and if I'm homeless, and well, maybe me and my family will die, right? If that's a worst case scenario, and that's where your focus was going, essentially, I just want you to focus on the opposite of that. So instead of focusing on losing your job and all those bad things happen, you would focus on maybe you got a new job that's even better, or maybe you got a raise at your job or you got a promotion at your job, right? Because what you focus on is what you get. And so once you've gotten rid of that BS and you've allowed that, that fear to kind of dissipate when you've processed it, you've gotten yourself into the present moment, the next step is with clarity, choosing a new focus. And this is your basically, this is how you combat that fear when it tries to come back. When you see it creepily coming back in and that fear is creeping back in, you immediately bring your focus back to what you want. And so what you want is gonna be the opposite of what you're afraid of. So if you're afraid of being abandoned, your boyfriend or girlfriend breaking up with you, then consciously choose to focus on your relationship going even better, having a wonderful relationship, growing in your relationship, having great experiences in your relationship. If, you're, if your fear is to lose all your money, then start to focus on having more money, the abundance of money. What's it like to have tons of money, more money than you could ever imagine in your life? Put yourself in that focus. And this isn't some woo woo, hey, just positive think. No, what happens when you focus on what you want is it puts you in a state of feeling good. When you feel good, it's scientifically proven, you're gonna take more positive actions and habits. We all know when you take more positive habits and actions, you're gonna get more positive outcomes, all right? So you have the formula now. Start to focus on what you want, get clear on what that is, and really drill it. Every time that fear comes in, you're going to flip it. You're gonna focus on what you do want, which is usually the opposite of what that fear is. And so this is a tool you have now for the rest of your life, and if you use it, it's gonna be incredibly effective for you because when you do this on the conscious level with your mind, over time, your subconscious, which is that supercomputer, will get used to this programming and it will start to do it automatically. So in the future, whenever you start to go down that path of being afraid of something, your subconscious will go, oh, no, we flipped this, what do we want? And you'll immediately start to focus on what you do want. Yes, you can reprogram your mind to do this. And if you wanna go straight into the subconscious, you wanna make sure that you rewire your subconscious to support you and support you living a joyful life free of fear, I highly recommend you check out that course that I mentioned because in that course, I take you through a process of identifying what are these subconscious disempowering beliefs that are causing me to feel fear constantly. And then we go through the process of just changing them and making sure that they go from disempowering to empowering. So it becomes default for you to feel joy instead of default for you to feel fear. So if you are interested in that, I've got the course linked up below. And if you just wanna learn more about what that course material would be like, I also have my free mental fitness training workbook linked up below as well. So get one of those resources if you really wanna go deep on that subconscious, but everything that I talked about before the course is gonna be really valuable for you just to use in your day-to-day -day life for freeing yourself from fear putting yourself back in the present moment, focusing on what you want, which is to live a joyful life. Because I promise you, you do deserve to be joyful and you will feel joyful if you follow these steps that I provided. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you have not already and I'll catch you on the next video here on the Mental Fitness Training Channel.